Hi everyone, sorry, hold on, I'm trying to, do you see it? What are you trying to do? Perfect. Okay, cool. We'll just wait a little bit while people, come on. I've actually haven't been alive in so long. All right, hello everybody. Zach and I here with Chipotle. Um, we just kind of want to hang out and chat and do a little Q&A so we can answer some of your guys' questions. And then at the end of our live, um, I'm going to drop a free code for free burritos um, or drop a code for free burritos um, in my stories later. So don't miss out as well. Um, should we just start playing your game? Do you want to explain what we're playing? Sure. We're just going to start off. We're just going to do a normal day of what we do. Um, we play a lot of games, so we're just going to play a game of Monopoly Deal while we answer your guys' questions. So if you have any questions, I even wore my glasses so I could see them. Um, we'll answer those as well. So will you shuffle? Because I can't really shuffle. Let me see if there's any questions. Everyone's just kind of <laughs> Zach's hair. <laughs> yeah, my hair is, uh, you know, quarantined up proof that we are doing social distancing the right way i haven't had this hair this long since i was like 15 so it's been a little adjustment but we're hanging in there julie actually likes it so she says so oh somebody asked you what's your favorite video game my favorite video game is uh probably fifa you know since we have so much time on our hands i've kind of been getting into the old school ncaa football games um uh, some of them i'm in but overall just probably fifa Let's see. What are you doing to stay fit during this quarantine? We've just been finding ways to work out um, around the house. I've been able to do a bunch of yoga with Zach. I kind of just lead it. Um, other than that, we have like an, an empty like lot near our house. We've been able to get our runs in as well. And um, you know, just trying to get it in and stay safe as much as possible. Um, oh, are you ready? All right, you can look at some questions. Can I go first? Yeah, all right. Um, questions for Julie. Go to quarantine movies or shows. We'll, we'll put movies or shows in there. Um, we've been watching Homeland. Um, and that was a really good finale. So we really enjoyed that. Um, what else? Obviously, Last Dance is what we've been um, watching now. I'm trying to think, what other shows have we been watching? The Office has been a go-to. Is there anything else? I feel like I'm missing like a bunch of shows. Shit's Creek. Is what did we watch live? We've been watching Survivor. We kind of picked back up on that. What else? I don't know, but you're up. I'm okay. finding a question for you. Okay. Oh, do I owe you too? I already took it. Okay. All right. Question is, what is your favorite? food i mean chipotle obviously is at the very top um but what else is your favorite food? my favorite food that's really hard like right now we've been like trying a bunch of new recipes so just trying to i don't know like use this time to to learn anything so what have we had the most of i feel like we haven't even had anything like double we just keep trying new things yeah julie i mean julie's a really good cook so she's been experimenting on some things and They've all turned out really good. So I've been her subject or her taster. And I mean, I've loved all the meals she's been cooking. So she's crushing it right now. Trying. I'm trying. All right. You're up. Let me ask some questions. People keep requesting to. I don't even like really know quite how well to do this. So I wouldn't even know how to do that. When you were watching. Okay. So it says when you're watching Survivor, who do you want to win this season? Oh, that's a good question. Um. The problem is I don't know how people come back from the other island yet. Yeah. Because I don't know what the coins are. Yeah. Um, out of the people that are currently going, I mean, we were sad that Kim got out last week. That was sad for My us. Turn? Yeah. Um, who else? 
Tony, I mean, I don't know if you like him or you dislike him. Your turn. Um, yeah, that's a hard one. I don't really know other like what's gonna happen with all the coins at the end, so I can't really answer that question. Do you have any more questions? How do you guys sustain? <laughs> oh shoot, I can't read it. We left. This says Julie get a puppy. Tell Zach that. I've told him like every day, like I want a dog so bad. Two million. I'm taking that. Oh, here you go. Acho. He says, who really won the race of doing the teams? <laughs> First, uh, I should shout out to Acho. Wait, where is he? Where was his question? Right there. Who really? You already know that. You already know the answer who actually won that. And some background behind that commercial. It was the day after we played the Bills. Julie made me do the photo shoot the day after the Bills game. Beat up. But, you know, for Julie, I'll do it. So, But I think I, I won it um, in the commercial. So uh, the film doesn't lie. Go ahead. Okay, let's let's do some more. A lot is about your hair. It's really funny. I yes, think because I've seen it, like his hair every day since quarantine, like I just slowly, but, oh, I just responded. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, lots of hearts, appreciate that. If you were a kid in quarantine, what soccer exercises would you be doing right now? That's a good question. That is a good question. Um, I think I feel like a lot of people have been asking that too. Like, I feel like at this time, all you really like, you just need you, you and the ball. Like, go into the backyard. Juggling is always good for your first touch. Um, passing, kicking up against the wall. I think just being able to get comfortable, like by yourself, and and kind of get that confidence of of that. Um, I mean, you don't need much. Um, I'm trying to think what we've been doing. Been juggling a ton, passing. Yeah. Zach's been throwing the ball to me. <laughs> Working on our first touch by throwing it, um, kicking the ball against the wall. Yeah. Um, Carly's a really good one for that. She can come up with a lot of great, great inside activities. I love the stuff that she comes up with. Oh, is my Story turn? behind our jersey numbers. Yeah. You wanna go first? Um, you can go first. All right, so I was, uh, I was number five in high school. And you know, you. Uh, when you go to college, uh, the coach asks you what number you're going to be. And so Coach Shaw reaches out to me. He was the offense coordinator at Stanford. Um, he's like, hey, what number you want to be? I was like, oh, you know, five is cool. You know, Reggie Bush era, everyone wanted to be five. But a tight end being five, unrealistic. He was like, no, you remind me of Todd Heap, so you're going to be number 86. And so that was that. And that's how I got number 86 in college. And it just kind of carried over to the NFL because when I got drafted to the Eagles, um, no one else had 86 so it, it i mean it kind of worked out perfectly in that regard um i would I'm, i feel like i've had so many numbers i was i was six and 14 like during when i was a lot younger and then when i went to college i was number two and then when i got drafted to chicago it, it was just kind of like what numbers were available and during that time number eight was when i was with the under 20s i wore eight um, and so when I went to Chicago, uh, two was taken, um, by Jen. And so I was like looking at what numbers eight was available. And then I wore eight in the, in the under twenties world cup. So I just really liked that number. Um, and so that's how I got number eight. That was kind of an easy question. Um, my turn. Yeah. All right. Another question. At what age did we start playing? Um, so I played football. Well, I, I mean, we played a lot of sports growing up. Um, I started playing football though, seventh grade year. Absolutely hated it. Um, never wanted to play football again. Um, didn't play my eighth grade year. And then my mom made me go out for the football team in high school as a freshman so I could make friends going into high school. Um, and then ever since then, I, I fell in love with the game. So shout out to my mom for making me play a sport that I really didn't want to play. <laughs> um. I started playing when I was like three or four, um, but that's just like for fun. Um, my parents had me in a bunch of different sports. Um, my sister played, so I would go and um, practice the, with them when I was younger, um, just because my dad was the coach. And I think I just was sitting there, so my dad figured out I might as well um, kind of join them. So around that time is kind of when I played, but I would say like eight or nine is when I kind of started taking it seriously and um, moved to club. All right, your turn. All right, I'll find another question. Favorite team growing up? Oh, that's a good question. Did you have a favorite team growing up? Like of any sport? I was a big Kobe fan, so I love the Lakers. I mean, I lived in California. 
Um, Kobe was like the guy to us in California. Yeah, um, cool. Football, I, I kind of followed college football more. I didn't really follow the NFL. Um, but the Lakers were kind of the team that I loved growing up. Um, I feel like I didn't really have a team. My dad played um, for LSU, so I would say just like growing up, my dad would watch anything LSU related. Like that was the only thing I really remember that was like the most in the house. Other than that, like it was just kind of whatever was on or whatever like championship games were going on, we'd watch those, but we didn't really like have any like go-to team. My turn again? Yeah, yours. All right, another question. Why, why did we choose our colleges? Four. That's your question. You can answer why. Why did you choose Santa Clara? That's just nice. Um, okay, hold on, let me do one more. You can answer while I finish, because I need to. All right, why did I choose Stanford? Um, so Stanford was one of the first schools to offer me. Uh, coach Harbaugh was a coach. Um, and it ended up being, I just gave you that. I know, but I did it again. Um, uh, golly. <laughs> um... Coach Harbaugh and Coach Shaw, I love them. Um, but it was between Stanford and UCLA. And I was 18 years old going through the process. Uh, Rick Neuheisel was at UCLA. He was a heck of a guy, heck of a recruiter. And so I hadn't gotten into Stanford at that time yet. Um, at Stanford, you actually have to go through all the um, application process, unlike some of the other schools. Um, so I really liked UCLA because I hadn't gotten into school yet. Um, visited down there, really loved the place. And then I finally got accepted into Stanford. And my mom said, there's no other option. You're going to Stanford. It was 45 minutes from home. I ended up meeting my wife there. So it, uh, it worked out well. Um, I, I visited a bunch of schools. And um, I don't know. I just got that feeling when I went to Santa Clara. I loved the coaches. Um, I... Obviously, like soccer was a was a big reason why I chose Santa Clara. I, I loved the team. Um, I, I'm definitely a, I feel like that was a big reason why I met a bunch of the teammates and I just fell in love with the, the camaraderie of the team and um, kind of their principles that they that they held each other to, but also that they just wanted to, to improve and be better every day at trainings. And um, I loved that. I loved that that feel that was there. So Santa Clara was was an easy choice for me. It was actually the last school I visited, and I and I went up by myself. I remember because um, my parents had work, and so when I got there, I just was like, I called my my mom. I was like, this is where I want to go. Um, but funny story was, when I was twelve, I actually went on a like, what do you call those? Like a tour? No, a visit? no, but you like go for like a weekend to play, like a camp maybe. Yeah, yeah like a when I was twelve, I went to a camp at Santa Clara. And I like hated it. It was the first time I like flew by myself. I, I like was so miserable. And I was like, I can't even believe now. Like I remember how much I hated it. But then when I went back, I just like fell in love with it. So it's just, you know, change, change of time, I guess. All right, Someone so wants to know where the code is. Do you want to explain what the process of the code is for after? What code? For the burritos. Oh, oh yeah. I know people are still asking that. I said in the beginning as well, but I'll go back. So once we're done with our live and questions, um, there'll be a free code or there'll be a code for free burritos in my stories. So like stay tuned, but like right at the end, go to my stories um, and they'll, uh, Chipotle partner with us to be able to give you guys a bunch of free burritos. So that's awesome. All right. Yeah. Um, it's my turn or yours? It is my turn. One of the questions was if I played football or soccer, what what uh position would I play? And I would play uh I'd probably be a goalie, you know. I I got I'm huge, so I'd cover up most of the goal. And um good I got good hand to eye coordination, not a lot of foot skill uh, per se, you know. some of the keepers got a lot of foot skill, I'm not saying they don't. But I think that would be the easiest transition for me. What was the question? What position would I play? Oh, nice. I got a lot of questions about my blue headband. Um, at first, like I just kind of wore whatever color I had available. Um, and when I was at the twenties world cup, I just happened to have blue at the time. So I wore that, um, 10. Yeah. Um, we were up 10. Um, and like that following, I would say like that was about August, I think was the championship game. And then I got called up with the full team, um, actually with Crystal in January. And I kind of just wore a different color and so many people were so mad that I switched up color. So I kind of just stuck with the blue. 
um, just so that people wouldn't go after me continuously on Twitter about <laughs> wearing a different color headband. So it's not like the huge significance, but um, it definitely makes it easier for my mom and my grandma um, when they watch the game. So they also enjoy the blue too. Yeah. Oh my. All right. Two. Uh, next question. Um, do we have any pets? No. No. Julie wants a dog badly. Um, however, the, the timing isn't right. You know, we do a lot of long distance, so it would be a lot on the puppy. Um, it wouldn't be fair. We know it, but it wouldn't be dog. fair to the pup if we had a dog and there was a lot of distance and traveling. So, for the time being, there is no dog, but down the road there will be, I'm sure. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm taking yours, and I'm winning the game. Do you have a just say no? Wait, why? Deal breaker. That's game. Boom. That's so annoying. Monopoly deal champ on Instagram Live. You guys saw it all here first, you know. I wasn't really paying attention. It's oh, here we go. See, excuse, sore loser. You guys saw it. Sore loser. How do you guys work out during the time? We kind of answered that before, but it's actually been really fun. Like, obviously, being with Zach and him being an athlete as well, we've been able to come up with some some fun stuff to do. Somebody asked if they could cut your hair. Maybe your hair is really like the top, the top. People are just shocked. Um. Let's see. What is your, who is your favorite person to room with on the road? Um, I'm gonna have to go with Crystal. We've been like, we roomed together for like six months straight now. It's been awesome. Um, but she's awesome. She's so funny. And like, even if it's just like quiet in the room, like it's, it's just great. It's like so fun to have like one of your best friends like being with you all the time. So we're basically attached by the hip at camp anyway. So it's nice to, to have somebody there too. Happen. Fun, the most fun thing that happened in the locker room after the World Cup. I saw that. Alyssa wrote, yes. Oh, she got mad. Liz, you too. Okay, Liz and Crystal are like my top two. I knew <laughs> I knew that she was going to be, she wrote, I'm upset. Okay. All right, Liz. But we haven't roomed together in a really long time. I don't know why that is. We don't, like, they usually just pick for us. She's going to be so mad. Okay, Alyssa and Crystal are both incredible roommates. Um, what was the other question? I got distracted by Alyssa. Favorite World Cup being moment so after, sad after, after the final. Um, the locker room was just like soaked with champagne. So like a lot of people were slipping and falling, but like, I don't know. At that point it was just like, I would say the dancing was the best part. Everyone was having so much fun. I bring the diffuser. Liz does bring the diffuser. Liz is going to go off on this. Okay. Liz, Liz, you were a great roommate. I'm so sorry. I, it was. I jumped the gun. You're right. Um, so I think like the dancing and just everyone having so much fun and being able to kind of have that like, like relax after everything. Cause obviously the world cup is so fun, but it's also really stressful. Um, so it was nice just to have, see everybody like kind of enjoy themselves and enjoy like the hard work and, um, watching everyone dance, I think is, is gotta be the, the top one. Um, I think one of the questions was what, do you have a favorite national team kit? Oh, um, I think like one of my favorite ones, I think it was the Centennial kit. Um, I think that's what it was called. And it was also one of the first kits like I wore with the national team. So, um, I don't know. I just thought it looked really clean. I can't remember what it was paired with. I'm remembering the white one, but I got to go back and look. I know U.S. Soccer did a, um, like a kit thing back. Who great? What's different? Steph McCaffrey trying to make <laughs> make a solid joke, but never happens. <laughs> no, no humor with Steph McCaffrey. That's just because Steph and I beat Alyssa in um, an online game the other day. We were really good. Are you sad the Olympics were postponed? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I I under I was a little bummed, but also at the same time, like the health is. Not the most important for especially the athletes and the fans and just everyone involved so obviously sad just because I think you have the mindset and um I'm such a planner so I, I like being able to kind of plan things out for it but um it is more time to be able to prepare um but the health obviously is is number one so um bummed but but definitely understandable oh somebody asked can you talk about the painting event Oh yeah, so we're gonna do a painting event, online painting event, 
for the foundation, um, the Ertz Family Foundation. You guys can find out all the details on our social media sites or um, the website. Um, but we're going to have kind of um, a paint kit sent to you. Um, and then we're all going to uh, be on like a Zoom call or an online chat uh, video um, and all paint together. And it's going to be fun. Obviously, with the foundation, we're not able to have our big fundraiser this summer. So try and do things together during this time to keep people um, following the foundation and have fun with it. Yeah. Also, like with that, I mean, the Earth's like um, with our foundation, the Earth's Family Foundation, I just want to say thank you to Chipotle as well. I know that they've donated to, to help us help our community. So um, just want to thank them as well. That's incredible. And we're very grateful for that. Um, do you have any advice for young players that dream of being on the U.S. Women's National Team or the Eagles? I'm adding in the Eagles. It wasn't a question, but I'd like to hear what you would say. What was like, the question? Do you have any advice that you would say to a young athlete, like wanting to be like, yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I think my advice for all athletes, young athletes is don't put yourself in a box early. You know, I didn't really play football until I was in high school. Um, and I think all the other sports that I played growing up, like soccer, um, basketball, swim team, baseball, all these other sports kind of allowed me to work on things uh, as a complete athlete versus putting myself in a box as a football player when you're young. Um, because you got to learn what you're good at, what you love, uh, and you got to learn how to experience failure as well. Um, and that's what happens when, you, when you're not um, only doing one thing over and over and over again as you're developing. That's a good one. Um, I feel like the most common thing that I tell young athletes is just know that adversity can be your best friend. Um, I think a lot of, especially professional athletes, like you go through like challenging times in your career. And a lot of those times, like people don't see all the hard work and, and things that you've gone through behind the scenes. Like, you know, when you're standing up there on your podium, like either at the world cup or the super bowl, like there's been a lot that goes behind that. And, um, but those are the times that I think really challenge you and make you a better athlete and a better person. And, um, it's definitely hard at the time, but I think that's an opportunity that you can get better. I think yeah. that's like a common thing that like, I want a lot of people to know, cause it's not just like yeah. super easy all the way through. It's, it's, it's a roller coaster, just like life is, um, your success and failures as an athlete. Your mom says hello. Are just as hard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks mom for jumping on our <laughs> Oh, that's good. What is your favorite thing to do in Philly? Uh, I mean, obviously, we love Philly. It's our home. Um, but the food, we love going out on a date night. Um, we do that every Friday night during our season. And so it's important for us to try a bunch of different places. Um, there's so many good restaurants here in the city. Um, and obviously, we love playing here. We love the fans here, the passion that they have. But the things that we love to do together is go out and try new restaurants. Yeah, the food scene here is so good. Oh, thank you for reading my book. I see that. Um, oh, two people, nice. Okay, let's see. Love the hair. What? It, what is your go-to order at Chipotle? The hard thing uh, is you kind of change it up sometimes, so. Yeah, I mean, I think the staple is uh, the Rito bowl that I got here. Uh, brown rice, black beans, double chicken, you know need the protein uh, a little bit of cheese guac corn pico lettuce you'll get a great bowl um somebody asked when are we when are you going to celebrate your 100 caps i don't i don't really know um <laughs> i i can't answer that question um funniest teammate for the eagles probably lane johnson uh, he's so funny you really don't know what you're going to get with his jokes but typically they're pretty funny and they're going to be constant He's gonna hit on like seventy five percent of them. The other twenty five percent, you kind of just let him let him go. That's true. Uh, They're so funny. All the but time. he is hilarious, um, honestly, and he is just passionate about everything. So he he's probably the funniest guy in the Eagles. It's so hard. We have like so many comedians on our team. Like, um, I'm trying to think of. So obviously, I think Crystal's so funny. She's hysterical. Pino's funny, Sonnet's funny, Sonnet and Rose together are hysterical. Um, I mean, so many people have like their... I think Alyssa, Alyssa's probably the funniest person. <laughs> She's gonna be mad if I don't add her on there too. Um, and then on the Red Stars, 
Um, Steph definitely was. Um, and now that she's retired and being a business lady, um, whoever, you know what, Sarah, Sarah Gordon, I, she's been really funny, like on our like team chat stuff. I've been laughing at her comments. Um, who else is really funny? My, I, everyone's like, they have their days. That's for sure. Someone asked, how's the Spanish going? Thanks for asking. <laughs> Um, it's going, um, I mean, I take my class, um, I can read it and write it way better than I can actually like speak it. So it's a work in progress. I'm trying, I'm trying to get a new skill set in this time that I have at home. Um, let's see. Oh, Kelly's funny too. You're right. I'm sorry. I left her out. <laughs> Thanks for calling me out. Sorry. Um, let's see. Best defender advice. I know that. Um, win the tackle. <laughs> I mean, I don't, don't let him score. Yeah, or so that's good advice. Um. Okay. Well, I've read this before, but then we were playing the game. Still, was who's your favorite male player, soccer player? Um, my favorite player to watch. I mean, Messi. He's the goat. Uh, he just makes it look so easy, and the fact that no matter where he is on the pitch, he's going to influence it. Um, that's probably my favorite person to watch. Okay, let me, like, I'm going to, like, swoop the question and see if you can guess, like, my, like, top few favorite midfielders I really enjoyed watching in the past few years. All right, Julie's top midfielders. Number one, De Bruyne. No doubt about that. Sometimes I worry, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, she loves all the great sixes in the world. So, Casemiro, Busquets, Conte, um... She loves watching all those people just to try and take something from their games. Uh, that was so good. I knew you were going to be good at that one. That was a layup for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Zach watches a lot of soccer as well, which is great. So we can watch that together. And I like watching football. I feel like I'm not as understanding of your games as you are understanding of soccer. Yeah. I mean, Unless it's, it's you. Like, I'm, I'm, I know the game. But, like, I'm not as interested in watching, like, other teams that's not you yeah like you like watching i got okay. time for one more question and then i gotta head off to my virtual off-season meeting <laughs> so one more question for me and then julie's gonna finish it off um somebody asked about the red stars jersey with earth on the back and i'm pretty sure that they started selling them they just um we just did a release of the red stars jersey when was that last this past thursday weekend? maybe thursday last yeah. week um, so check them out. They're they're really awesome. They did a great job this year. Um, fly Eagles fly. Uh, yeah. Best part of Super Bowl night? Do you want to finish with that one? That's a whole yeah, new sure. question. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, favorite part of the Super Bowl, obviously, uh, being in the locker room with my teammates after the game, all of our hard work paying off. I think my favorite part, honestly, was uh, the parade after. Obviously, it was a blast, but just thinking, just seeing – how much joy and how happy the city of Philadelphia was, um, was so special. So that was probably my favorite moment for me was to be able to share our hard work and success with the people of Philadelphia. And so with that, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, and Chipotle, thank you guys for everything you do for us. Um, we love you guys. And Julie's going to finish it off for me. Cool. You want to take your bowl with you when you yep. go on your thing? Okay. Let's see. I got time for one more question. Um, let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I'm st I'm like reading all of them. You guys are coming up with awesome questions. Um, so, okay, this will be. Um, I'll finish with this one. Okay, what did you like by the 2015 or 2019 World Cup? Um, both were absolutely incredible for different reasons. I think in 2015, I was obviously really young in my career, and um, it was just my first tournament with the full team and. Um, it had incredible memories. I've learned so much from that game. Um, also being a center back. And then in the 2019 was, was definitely different. I think just from the four years of kind of just adversity in my career and um, being able to have my whole family in 2019 was really incredible to share. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know. I feel like in 2019 as 
as I was like older, I just was a little bit more appreciative. I made sure like every day to really soak it in a lot more. Um, and I just didn't want to like take anything for granted. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed both, um, but both were just very different because I think I was just a different player in both of them. Um, but with that, thanks guys. Sorry, I'm like trying to read and talk, but um, all right. Well, thanks everyone. That was so fun. Um, especially I know Zach had to, had to jump off to go on a call um, for their virtual meetings, but um, there'll be a, a post. Um, let me make sure that I have the code right. Um, but this was fun. Um, and I'm ordering, hopefully you guys are ordering Chipotle delivery as well. I just know that that food right now can be a little bit challenging to get. So um, we wanna give you guys a code for some free burritos. So that will be in my story at the end of this. Um, I'll sign off and then it'll be in my story. So make sure you get into the code to be able to get that. So thank you Chipotle, thank you guys. This was really fun. Um, see you guys later.